Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Romine, the Entrepreneur Broad, coming to you from Phuket, Thailand on this Sunday. The good news is the major big cap earnings season is pretty much over and hopefully the markets will be a little less choppy. The really big news is I'm releasing my momentum and buy the bounce indicators this week in my Discord, so that should be a lot of fun. Let's kick things off today with a success story from Reeks Havoc. Here you can see he's riding a nice little 57% gain on Dexcom. Nice job, Reeks. And for those of you who are not already in my Patreon and Discord, check it out because that's where I can post my live buy and sell alerts. You can join our free education channels and chats and you'll get our daily hot stock list which is where we find most of our winners. Today we're going to keep things really short and sweet and I'm going to show you when not to buy a stock, give you a few position updates and share with you one stock that is setting up to make a nice move. All right, grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Let's start today with Amazon. They barely missed on reported revenue and beat the earnings per share, but their stock dropped almost 8% on Friday. I'm expecting this is an overreaction and for Amazon to come back, but I wanna show you how the new momentum indicator keeps you out of higher risk trades like this. Let's jump into the charts and be sure to check out the Beast Mode scorecard on the left side for the fundamentals. Let's start with our TOS bar on Amazon, and we can see that the volume is up 74%. We know that they just reported earnings. They took a huge drop right here, and this is our volume bar, so it's on increased volume, and that's a bit of a red flag. But what I really wanna draw your attention to today is the momentum indicator. We're calling it the momentum dream, and anytime we've got a red zone right here, this is a good time for us not to buy, with just a few exceptions, and the green zones, these are a good time for us to consider getting into the stock, especially whenever we've got our 20-day moving average over our 50-day moving average. So just look at this as a red zone here. We don't want to get in. Look what happened. The stock dropped like a rock. We had a nice green zone here during a squeeze. It went up nicely. And let's look at our last red zone here. It would have gotten us out right here near the top. And it was telling us, hey, stay out of this stock. We stayed out. It dropped. No big surprise there. Now, even though I do expect Amazon is going to come back, what I'm hoping for is we're going to have a few days where it stays in and about this range right here and then it should start to crawl back up and when that happens we're going to be waiting for a green zone to get back into this stock so amazon's not done we're watching it and i do expect it to go back up after all they did report an increased earnings per share the expected was 1221 and they actually came in at 1512 they just missed in a few other areas up next we've got a position update on pavmed ticker p-a-v-m our current profits right now are 5.5 percent on this and this is just a real short-term position so you either want to take profits now or tighten your trail stop. And if you're watching the momentum indicator, what we want to wait to happen is if this comes out of the green, that would be a great time to definitely close the position or you can just tighten the stop now and let it run its natural course. Next up, we've got Tesla, ticker TSLA, and this is one of my larger positions. You can see we're up nicely on it. In one week, these guys are up 6.8%. Now they just had an earnings right here and they did drop right after the earnings and then they bounced. And I really want to point this out because this is what we're expecting to happen with a few of these other stocks like Facebook, Google, and Amazon, although Amazon might take a little longer because it was a heavier drop. And then if we come down and look at our momentum indicator, we're in a squeeze right now, which we love. We just had a green dot, and that is after the earnings was reported and we just went into the green zone and our momentum is increasing. So we're actually sitting really pretty on Tesla. We just had a MACD crossover and I'm expecting Tesla's gonna continue to go higher. And our first immediate goal right now is this $707 range. Our next goal is gonna be right around 732 and I wouldn't be surprised to see Tesla take both of these out in the near future. Our next position update is BYD Company, ticker BYDDY, and this is a Chinese EV stock. And check it out. We've got a nice profit and loss position right here. Our volume is up 57%. Our recommended trail stop is 9%, and I'm saying this one is ready to run. So check this out. We had a real nice update where it was up 4.7%. It's just about to break past previous resistance, and this is what we're looking to happen right here. We wanna hit a nice solid green zone crossing over the zero line. Right now, that's right where we're at, right here. Green zone, just about to cross the zero line. We've got a MACD crossover, and all of our moving averages are stacked positive. So I'm loving this position, and it's ready to run. All it needs to do is close over this range right here, about $62, and hopefully we're going to be off to the races on that one, just like it was right here. 
Our last position update is a little bit higher risk and that's Blue Owl Capital, ticker OWL. We can see in the last week they're up 2.4%. They had a really crazy run here where they shot up. They came back down to reality at that 50 day moving average and then they've been slowly going up since then. Recommended trail stop is 13%. Profit and loss on the current position is 5.3%. And we bought this on the bounce, which are what these eights are right here. And it is still in a squeeze. So if we come down here, we can see we've got a good squeeze going and we can also see we've got quite a few bright blue bars now one of the reasons why this is a little higher risk is these blue bars they only go so long typically six to ten bars is about all you get before they start going blue and mixing it up a little bit so you could consider tightening your stop I'm hoping this one's gonna break out of the squeeze and do another little volatile run up and then I'll take profits quickly and our last stock is the one that I expect to move and this is our old friend in phase energy who's taken a beating this year they had a high of 229 less than six months ago. They dropped it all the way down to $108 and then they've had a nice uptrend starting since then, although they've struggled a little bit the last month or month and a half. I will say I think this is a higher risk trade. I'm expecting Enphase to break 200, hopefully in the near future, and I'll likely do a vertical call spread on them this week. We can see they just reported earnings. They went down a little bit. They had a bounce back right here, and if we look at our momentum indicator, we're in the green zone right now, and we just had a MACD cross over. And one more thing I want to point out is we love the momentum indicator the most whenever we're not only in the green zone, but we're also above the zero line. So this momentum is up, but it's yellow, which means it's below the zero line, where once the momentum is up, we'd love it to be in these bright blue bars. So in phase is a stock you might want to consider looking into. Hopefully it breaks 200 in the next couple of weeks. Up next, we got our question of the day. What are you expecting for the markets next week? Well, I'm glad most of the big cap stocks have reported earnings and since we're in the middle of the traditionally slow summer months, I'm expecting the choppy markets to continue. We've still got the COVID-19 wild card, but other than that, I'm expecting we'll see lower volumes and choppy markets. The good news is I expect the FANG stocks like Facebook, Google, and Amazon to rebound over the next week or two. It's really important that we stay patient and only trade the best setups, and that's where technical analysis really helps, and I encourage people to trade smarter instead of trading more, especially in this choppy market. If you enjoyed today's video and received even one piece of valuable information, help me out and smash that like, subscribe, and notification bell. And if you have a question or comment for me, drop it in the comment section below and I try to respond to everybody. Thanks again, have an awesome day, and I'll see you on the next video.